is baby. the meaning of all of this? Ah! Auntie's having a uh, heart attack right now. These witnesses gave false statements. Is it true, you pair? Just, just, just one. Just one simple slip of the tongue. I'm so angry. Order! Order, order! Council, explain what is going on here. It's painfully clear now. You try to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. The prosecution knows nothing of this. Oh, then who did it? Oh, my little sloppy hands are back. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, uh, oh, um... look at him pulling on the guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's classified. <laughs> so you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You, 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 what it? This can't be happening. We're no scare. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from the way they're reacting to this. I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, However. I don't believe Algie had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It's only been the government, the military, or, or the police, I suppose. I suppose. Well. I suppose. Any ideas about who might be behind this? It can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses. Then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Oh. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his power, his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly... Hold on. I also... J okay, I also just realized that we can, like, inspect more because mm. we got the little, like... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <coughs> Look at the... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Chief, Chief Inspector, Inspector. <gasps> Satoru Hosonaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Whoa! Well, that's unexpected. Erm, um, who saw? Um, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> what is? Look, do you see it says the witness's name here? Satoru Hosonaga? You, okay, that, that's all right. <laughs> we'll keep going. <laughs> well, yes. Business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the Shut point. The fuck up. It's not the name that's unexpected. It's his job title. His job? Uh, oh! Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somewhere here... The witness business card information has been updated in the court record! <laughs> Alright, well now we know what the fucking shit we need for the next part. Remember how we made progress before? Alright, we know we're ahead of you before! We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh, hold on. I need to go close my blind because the sun is just like blaring. Fuck the sun. Hold on. Hey, sun. The sun. Fuck you. The eternal flame of the <laughs> earthen sky. <laughs> Are you All a right. vampire, Willow? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? Oh, you're so flirty, Kazuma. We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we've missed. Okay, I know. Now pull out your cock. I'm going to examine it. Uh, I order! <laughs> I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please, wait, Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god. 
I do nothing! And what does the defense- Sorry, I forgot my voice. And what does the defense have to say about all this? Mm -hmm. Um, well, your excellency. Ugh, no time to think. I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and shout out the first thing that comes into my head. No, you don't. <sighs> no, you don't. For plot reasons, I do. Bitch boy! Bitch boy! Well, surely that would be... Brendan yuri -san. Oh my god. Does he really look like Brendan Yuri? Because I haven't seen Brendan Yuri in a while. I, uh, honestly, I don't know. I was just like, what's like an edgy, like, like, rock artist or some, mm. like, emo shit? I don't know. That's the only name I could, I could, I could f f think of. What's oh, so like son? The waiter who took the stand earlier? Shouldn't the judicial judge know who the fucking chief inspector of police is? I mean, he, I mean, he doesn't know every cop in the world. And then also this cop comes in dressed as a waiter. I would probably assume he is a waiter. Okay. Poppycock! Poopycock! What possible <laughs> reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses get false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter cannot possibly have that level of influence. Objection. For once, I would agree with you. If that is the man truly were a waiter. Oh! If he truly were! Come on, Rinosuke! Time to hit this court with the truth. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, uh, my phone's... Sorry, Kosama, my The truth phone's about the Sakurai Hasanaga's real identity is proven by this evidence. The dentist's report card. <laughs> the plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question. Hmm, I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. S sorry, Your Excellency, um... That's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's of <laughs> interest. I beg your pardon. What the fuck is this guy saying? Or or perhaps I sh should have said the front. Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's where the telling detail lies. <laughs> what dog? Uh, Just flip the card over. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hosonaga-san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. Reverse, that's the word. Thank the you, The front Kasa. of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession? But that's surely... Good, good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What the fuck? Or as we kids like to say, Sip Kid Ip. <laughs> Sip Kid Ip. What? The, the waiter is a police detective? I, I, I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau that. has immense power, absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. <laughs> Damn. So, witnesses, there, witnesses there in the stand. <laughs> so, witnesses there in the stand. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what is, in fact, the waiter who gave you the orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen the foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Um. Well. <laughs> Hold it! Oh, it's Brendan Yuri. In Inspector Hoso Naga. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. Remember this. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, 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 that's how it happened. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. 
It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say, you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course! Your salary must be terrible! <laughs> I was working undercover. <laughs> oh my god, Ryanosuke. <laughs> undercover? <laughs> yes. There have been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter. Do you think that's like undercover. a reference to Dick Gumshoe being paid shit? Maybe. It could be. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? Well, murders, mostly. <laughs> that would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. We're in a fucking courtroom! However, however, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Mm. Very well, then. Inspector Hosonaga! Oh, it's very well then, Inspector Osonaga. But you will be but you will elaborate on one point for the court. My phone turned off. What how long have we been going? Oh, it's only like eleven minutes. We're good. <laughs> of course, Your Excellency. <clears throat> we have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true. Clearly, you would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? Damn, there's like a <coughs> way longer way to say all that shit. Correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable! Hmm, as I suspected. Don't mind my blood. Ah! <laughs> Someone shoot another gun? Fuck! <laughs> ah! Stop! Who, who has that gun? Stop it! As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an Englishwoman. So the truth comes out. Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the Bureau. It was then that I received some... special orders. Special orders? You mean to say... Remove the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if this English woman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. Ugh. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an English woman as the primary suspect? Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the Phantom Woman in this case. The Phantom Woman? Phantom Woman. But it's not right! It's Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm dying of heat stroke hell. <laughs> this, this, this kimono's really hot. <laughs> One possibility does spring to mind. Ooh. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yume University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them, studying in the medical faculty's research laboratory, Ooh. is a young English woman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. You mean... 
when I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English woman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yume University's medical faculty. I didn't skip past that. That was automatic. I'm sorry. <laughs> I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. I keep getting distracted by Nosa's baby. It's so fucking <laughs> It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this situation. Hmm. Ah! Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. <laughs> However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false... It would, be a dis it would be a desecration of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. But, but your excellency, that would be missing the new deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraphic report to Great Britain! Oh, boo-hoo. Our own government will surely be displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, counsel. I'm stretching. Give me a second. <laughs> Ugh, okay. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. Uh, oh, he's cool. Inspector Hosonaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. But, but that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau! Uh. As I said before, <laughs> it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. <laughs> Ouchie, are you alright? <laughs> so, it won't be a problem? <laughs> 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 Nothing will get in my way. <coughs> he just, like, collapses on yes, the fucking yes. bench. <laughs> Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student to sail Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Uh, your Excellency! Good. Then we will have a 30 minute recess before reconvening. Ah! Now we get to talk Too to our boyfriend. Oh, we get to, we talk, get to talk to our, to our boyfriend. boyfriend. Oh my god. I'm going to save the progress into the first day slot. Yay! We get to talk to our boyfriend. No, 11.38 a.m. Supreme Court. Maybe we'll talk to our boyfriend <laughs> next time on uh, Shrubble Joe. Bye-bye. But you... <laughs>